How was your year? That's always, you know, tough, tough question. Somebody asks you that. How was your year? Right. <laughs> yeah, how was it indeed? Well, not that good, really. Mostly. I thought actually last year was better. I mean, for me, anyway, it was better than this year, I must say. <clears throat> I think many people were too, like, uh, they were expecting a better year, but that was not. Like, we were too rash, rash kind of thinking, you know, because uh, there's no way that things could get so much better so soon you know you know what i'm talking about right so <laughs> don't need to need name any names but uh yeah i mean last year was just somehow i was kind of you know i was of course nobody at first, when, uh, when the schools and everything started closing here, I kind of felt almost like, you know, in a state of panic, like most of you, uh, I bet also. Because that's the first time some, something like that happened here, actually. And, uh, yeah, but then, you know, I kind of learned to go with it, and I, I was pretty much all right. You know, with not doing that much, and also because I have been pretty active the last, uh, you know, three or four years before that. Well, four or five, actually. <laughs> so I kind of felt like I needed a break, you know. I was kind of working out when that whole thing started, and uh, so I was in pretty good shape, so I knew that wouldn't it would not affect me so much unless you know it lasted longer that lockdown and all that well anyway, yeah, I tried to keep shit to you know not just you know I tried to be as active as possible of course but this year was quite quite different you know and then lockdown came earlier this earlier this year than the last and uh, it lasted a little longer also than last year actually and then there were a few then the summer came yeah it was all right but then you know i had a few smaller help I had a health problem, all right, let's say it, I had a smaller health problem that occurred in the mid-August, so it has really kind of bothered me for a long time, it, it did bother me for a long time, so that's what made my last quarter or last third of the year, you know, worse. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, but anyway, apart from that, you know, now when you haven't been uh, been anywhere outside, you know, outside your country and pretty much outside your hometown, place where you live, you know, starts to get too much. So I kind of regret you know, that I didn't go anywhere this year, but still, you know, people who are not you know who are not vaccinated it's hard you know it's hard and why i'm not i can go go into that on another time but uh, this year i mean yeah this upcoming year i, I hope will be better and i think you know, you know I know for sure that I will be more, I mean, I will, will go somewhere outside this country for sure. I don't know when that will be, but you know. anyway, uh, as I said last year, this was all right. And I had been out, you know, to my home, homeland the, the, in 2019, so you know, it was all right. 2020 not to go anywhere, you know, 
like just it was very safe I let's, let's put it that way you know it was a lot of there was a lot of uncertainty going on you know, so yeah but now it's started to get to you know the last few months always uh, not going anywhere you know. there's just not much going on not much happening that's not good you know. yeah so yeah i hope your year has been at least a little better than mine i mean many people did go somewhere and that's also what kind of you know bothered me i was when you have to look at all those pictures from the, your friends post on facebook from their holidays you know, out there on the beach and you know it gets to you you know i must admit i didn't think it would get to me that much but it did it did actually yeah so next year will have to be you know, different and regarding this whole situation with the pandemic, well, you know, one can only hope that it gets better, but yeah, <laughs> we don't know yet, but it does seem to be going in that direction anyway, but it's only a matter of how fast this whole thing will, you know, end simply. And that will be a great, great celebration, of course, when it finally ends. You know, the, the worst part is when it's alright for people who previous to this had, you know, pretty good life. And they were caught alright, so they had to, you know, <laughs> they had to take it easy for a while. They had to, you know, have, have a boring time. And that's all right, but for people who didn't really have much of a really fun, fun life, or a rich life, and that's that's the big problem. I think many of you also, many of those people, I mean, did, you know, developed some men, uh, mental health problems. Yeah, for sure, I can see that, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I mean, you and I, I, until just maybe a month ago, I was feeling all right, but the last month or two actually have been harder for me also psychologically. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. And now, you know, when it starts to, the sun starts to go down so early, like, yeah, it's really hard <laughs> to stay really positive and cheerful and all, all that. But yeah, anyway, that will soon pass as well. So I want you to know it's all right to be a little depressed, to be a little you know, unwilling, you know, like. Uh, but one should not just completely like uh, give up or you know whatever. Just say, oh no, everything sucks now. It's never going to be better because that's not true. Of course, there are some major problems out there in the world right now, but still, you know, when has it not worked out previously? <laughs> we, we must simply think that way, you know, be optimistic. And yeah, that's <clears throat> just about it. But anyway, to sum up this whole year, yeah, it's not, uh, well, you know, for, first of all, I did a lot, learn quite a lot about one subject that I have uh, become more interested in uh, the past couple of years, you know, and that's fragrances, of course, and that, that's been my big biggest thing about this year all this this new fragrances that i got to know and got to you know acquire and all that so that's really been a 
perhaps the most positive thing actually about this year for me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as for other things, more serious, <laughs> vital things of importance, we will see about that next year. But uh, yeah, I mean, I know now that I simply have to, you know, simply have to make more of an effort. I've never really made so much of an effort because I had a fear, I, I had a, this, I was always an, an introverted person, so, you know, and when your social life is not so good, you know, then suddenly you have to, like, you find yourself, you are like in your 40s and you don't have, you are, you don't have a wife or a girlfriend or anything. It starts to bother you, right, you know, I mean, it's not that it doesn't bother, it didn't bother me before, but now, you know, <laughs> it especially bothers me. You know, I, for a while, I thought I had, you know, kind of gotten over that, I was like, all right, so what? That's the way life is, you <laughs> know. And it's not like I haven't really tried anything, any kind of, you know, before, like stuff like, you know, dating sites and all that, but it didn't really work out for me, yeah. But anyway, I take it as it comes, it's just that I learned that sometimes when I do see some someone who may, I may like, I should try and kind of, you know, <laughs> like make some sort of a, a, how to say it you know simply try to to engage in a conversation and stuff like that and, you know it's pathetic when you are as old as i am and you're still struggling with this i know it's pathetic but that's how it is you know, because most of my life so far has been so tied up in problems different sorts of problems, family problems, health problems, or work problems, occupation, you know, life, how do you say, life, uh, choices, you know, like what to do, what to study, what to work, what to do. So, you know, you, in the end, you are left with too little energy simply to also be able to focus on, you know, finding a suitable mate so but it will be my focus now again all right so there was a little personal this video <laughs> i shared some personal stuff so thank you thank you all who follow me i really appreciate you and I hope uh, I wish you all a really happy new year and I hope a better, better new year also. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.